going, whoops, where'd the camera go? You know, I'm a funny kind of guy. I notice things. I kind of pay attention to, you know, the news and all the other junk that's going on in the world. And I kind of look at my plants, too, you know, like my tomatoes as they're growing and, you know, picking them when it's time and in their season, bearing fruit. And, you know, I kind of look at people's lives that way, too. I kind of wonder at times, you know, what they're doing or what they're saying, what really is going on. Lately, I've been watching this kind of like Chick-fil-A thing, you know, where, oh, let's support this cause because guess what? They're standing up for the rights of marriage. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know that marriage was in trouble, you know. I know that people are in trouble, but I thought marriage was instituted by God and God will always hold man accountable for marriage. So, I really wasn't too worried about marriage until people told me I had to be worried. You know, I kind of went, well, that don't seem right. At least not to me. So I decided not to get involved. You know, I said, well, you know, I'll pray about it and if God tells me to get involved, you know, I'll do whatever he tells me to do, but frankly, I don't think he needs any help about marriage. I think he instituted it just fine. Oh, then they tell me that I've got to get involved in abortion. You know, I've got to stop this massive funding of abortion and, you know, stop these people from doing things that they're going to do anyways. But, you know, it's too easy for them, so, you know, God knows i got to stop them from using my money to do what they're going to do. Because, after all, you know, it is a social cause and a evil of society that God can't handle. Okay, so, you know, I'll pray about it, you know, but I don't think I'm going to go protest and, you know, I don't think I really need to worry about the rest. I think they've had abortions all along. Matter of fact, I think, you know, if I read a Roman, you know, kind of report about what they did with babies, you know, I think they sacrificed them to gods in the Old Testament, you know, and I think they sacrificed babies even in the time of Jesus, but, well, I, you know, I don't know. Jesus didn't seem to comment on that, so I really don't know. And, you know, that's kind of interesting to me because I really find it interesting about what Jesus did comment on than what people are talking about. Because nowadays, I hear people talking about everything except Jesus. Now, I don't know about you, but personally, I wish they'd shut up. I'm getting tired of hearing about everything else except Jesus. You see, you can take the whole world, but give me Jesus. And I don't mean that subtly. And I don't mean that, you know, philosophically. I mean that bluntly, because frankly, I don't want to talk to you. You know, you can tell me about all these protests going on and how some guy closes his business on Sunday. Big deal. The Jews close their businesses on Saturday, and the Orthodox, you know, are really hated for it in Israel. You know, I mean, they go and throw rocks at McDonald's for opening up on Saturday. Oh, wow. You know, <laughs> so um, what are we going to do? Enforce legalism? Sometimes I wonder about Christians, what they're thinking, you know doesn't mean that I don't agree with some of the things that they want for people, but I disagree with the way that they go about getting what they want. You see, the consequence is what people don't look at. They figure, oh, well, we just, we got to stand up for righteousness sake, you know. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Right, and the world is coming to an end, and we need to share the gospel more now at the end than we ever did in the beginning. And people are talking about saving Christian businesses that focus in on what? The gospel? No. Taking a stand for marriage. I think in the past people have taken stands for marriages and the divorce rate didn't change any. I think it's the heart of man rather than the plan of man that we need to deal with. And I only know one way to deal with the heart of man and that's with the gospel that Jesus gave us. You see, a lot of people will go about doing social causes and think that they're doing oh so right. But then 
they don't witness to anyone in the way because they tell them to get out of the way because after all they're telling them about what they want to stand up for instead of who they want to lift up. So whenever you're caught up in some of these like special interest groups that you know all of Christianity is getting involved, let's do it too. Why don't you look at and ask Jesus what he wants you to do? Because you see, a soldier's last orders are the ones that they keep. And the last orders I heard from Jesus were to go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and to make disciples, but then also to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. I think if we focused in on that, people would want what we have rather than we go after what they got and try to change what they have into something we want done in the name of the Son. I don't know. Uh, maybe God told all these people to do what they're doing, and God bless them if they're doing that. But you know, for me and my house, I think we're going to seek the Lord and discern whether or not He wants us to share the gospel and witness, to share teachings and change the heart of men, to pray that people's minds and hearts would be open to the gospel and not hardened of heart because of the activisms that people get into nowadays you know stand up for all of our rights and privileges rather than lift up Jesus I personally would rather lift up the name of Jesus and lift Jesus up and let him be seen than to stand up with a protest sign or to go eat drink and be merry because I'm supporting my current Christian cause.